the four statues began resonating with one another, emitting an unnatural light in the process. As the light faded, the entire cavern grew deathly quiet. The rocks were packed too tightly to be broken with the terror bracelet. Adol was trapped. Hey! Is that you in there, Adol? Are you hurt? Adol shouted back that he was uninjured. Glad to hear my little buddy's okay. That quake caused some of the crevice walls to collapse. I managed to pick my way across, though. But now we gotta do something about these rocks. Adol, I'm gonna need you to step back for a second, okay? Here we go! Yeah! That's what I'm screaming. Walls zero, Dogie the Wall Crusher like a million. That was a new record too, I think. <sighs> Never took down solid rock before. So, looks like you found another statue. Is that all of them? Chester, you're here. <laughs> of course. I've been kept well apprised of your actions. Seems you have all four statues now. So, as I said before, I think you'd best give them to me. Chester, there's just one thing I need to know. What are you planning to do with these statues? A mere knight dares not question the motivations of Count Maguire, though I cannot entirely plead ignorance, as I've heard some rumblings on the nature of his glorious plan. That's not what I asked you. I want to know what you plan to do with him. How long have you known? <laughs> I knew from the very beginning. I didn't believe for a second that you felt such contempt toward Elena. It's just not you. And I really couldn't see you serving someone as obviously corrupt as Maguire. Not willingly, anyway. So I figure you've got to have something else up your sleeve. <laughs> your oafish exterior belies your perceptive nature. It always has. Out with it, Chester. What are you really up to? Very well. I suppose this is as good a time as any. What I seek is revenge. Revenge? You were born in Thelgana, so undoubtedly you're familiar with Genos Island. No, I've never told you this before, but that is the land where my sister and I were born. What? W wait a second. I always heard that Genos Island was wiped out by some kind of plague. Indeed, we speak of the same place. However, it was not plague, but monsters that brought about the island's ruin. Monsters? Yes, monsters, with the appearance of human skeletons clapped. They appeared out of nowhere and simply started massacring all the villagers. Our warriors fought back, of course, but the creatures just wouldn't stay dead. In the end, Elena and I were the sole survivors of the attack. B but why? Why would monsters suddenly just appear like that? It was no random occurrence, and therein lies the rub. McGuire was directly responsible for the massacre. My people were the descendants of Genos himself. We were charged with guarding the holy artifacts that had locked away the Demon Lord's power to prevent their misuse. I would assume Maguire simply considered us a threat to his ambitions. And that's how my sister and I were orphaned. 
and came to live with the mayor of Redmont. It's no surprise that Eleanor's memories of these events have been suppressed, given their extreme, horrific nature. Then you want revenge on... On McGuire. Yes, he will be destroyed by the very power he so desperately seeks. And he won't be the only one. I intend to see to it that every living creature in Velestine Castle burns in hell. Perhaps then, the wounded, defiled souls of my ancestral people can finally know true justice. At long last, after all these years, their anger and hatred will be appeased, and eliminating the parasitic slime who sits on Valestine's throne will benefit the entirety of Felgana as well. Now then, why don't you hand over the statues so this can all fall into place? To be honest, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to react to all of this. I can't pretend to know how you feel. Just hear me out on one thing. But let's just say that your plan succeeds, and you do get your revenge. What then? Do you think it'll make Elena happy? Hell, will it really even make you happy? <sighs> sure, Maguire might be a horrible man, and he may even deserve what you're planning for. But imagine how Elena would feel, knowing the depths you'd sunk to in the name of vengeance. Do you think she'd be proud of what you accomplished? If you just step back and think about it, I know you'll find some other, less drastic way to deal with Maguire. If I explained everything to the townsfolk, they'd understand. And I bet they'd do what they could to help, too. If everyone banded together, we could drive Maguire out of Felgana for good. You don't have to disgrace yourself over scum like him. So come on. Please, Chester. You have to put a stop to this, before it's too late. Come back to town with us. We can all sit down and have a good time. Maybe enjoy one of Elena's home-cooked meals. Look how far I've come, though. Do you honestly believe I can go back now? After all this? No. There's no turning back for me! Chester, you stupid son of a bitch. There is still time to save him. If you want him to live, give me the statues. Now! Adol gave the statues to Chester. Excellent. Statues to hurdle all of Valestine Castle into the darkest depths of hell. I hardly need to say it at this point, but you may wish to reconsider trying to stop me. Unless, of course, you want to end up like him. Chester attacked Dogi. This is all my fault, actually. Twelve years ago, I served as a Valestine Knight. I was there on Genos Island that day. All the Knights were. In other words, we would demand the Sidelines and terminate any villagers who tried to escape. And we did just that. But then I met the Stoddard children. And despite my sworn oath to Maguire, I couldn't bring myself to harm them. I hid them instead, and snuck them away from the carnage. But I knew I couldn't raise them, so I left them with the mayor, and shamefully ran away to this godforsaken shack. I spent my days slowly unraveling Maguire's plans, and researching the old tales of Genos and Galbalan. Chester never knew of my knighthood, 
but he was well aware that I'd saved his life, so he and Dogi would often visit. As such, while secretly investigating Maguire, I also took it upon myself to train the two of them in the art of war. Dogi's departure aside, things continued in this manner until just last year. Around the time monsters started appearing all across Felgana, Chester came to see me in quite a panic. The monsters had brought his memories of Genos Island to the surface, and he had no idea how to cope. I told him everything, every single thing I knew about his past and about my role within it. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. I suppose I was looking for some manner of catharsis. All it did was exacerbate Chester's desire for revenge. To be perfectly honest, I haven't the slightest idea what Chester intends to do with the statues. But if he's willing to stab an old friend to get them, then I doubt there's much hope of talking him down. If we let him continue unchecked, the damage he inflicts won't be limited to Valestine Castle, but all of Felgana. Battle. I must ask that you go back to town immediately and tell Mayor Edgar everything that's happened. You needn't worry. I'll take care of Dogi. Adol, we're in a bad way. We were attacked by soldiers from Valestine. Uh, hurry! You truly are a lifesaver. Thank you, Adol. But why? Why would the Valestine soldiers attack us? Adol? What's wrong? You look even more flustered than we are. Adol reluctantly told her that her brother had stabbed Dogi in the Elder Mountains. My God! Why? Why would he ever do that? Are you two okay? Sister Nell? Papa! And Father Pierre, too! When we realized you weren't at the church, we panicked. Thank God you're all right. We wouldn't be if it weren't for Adol. I'm sorry, sister. I know you told us to seek shelter. Honestly, you'll be the death of us one of these days, Elena. Now, now, Sister Nell. She was clearly just trying to find Anya. We can hardly blame her for that. I still can't believe McGuire's grown so brazen, though, as to send his soldiers to attack the town. I think it may be worse than that, actually. Did you get a good look at them as they attacked? Something about them seemed... off. Disturbingly so. None of them spoke a single word. And their movements were like those of wooden dolls, dangling from strings. Hmm. Now that you mention it... We're not safe here. We should return to my house to further discuss the matter and propose a course of action. I'd like for you to come as well, Adol. I had no idea Chester was hiding a secret like that all this time. He lived under my roof for ten years, 
and never once did I question where he came from or how much he remembered. I feel like such a fool. Please don't blame yourself, Mayor. Right now we need to focus on the matter at hand. We need to focus on Valestine Castle. What we know is that Chester is planning to take his revenge through the power contained in those statues. The question is, are those statues in some way responsible for the lifeless, soulless appearance of our attackers? It seems that way. I think now would be a good time to get in touch with Bishop Nicholas at the castle. Excuse me. Sister, what's wrong? The soldiers haven't returned, have they? No. It's just that I haven't seen Elena for some time now, and when I asked the children where she went, it seems she's left town again. What? Well, that's not good. She must have heard about Chester and gone to Valestine Castle. Yes, I think that's a safe assumption. It's an awfully rash thing to do, though. Dear me. Adol, I'm sorry to ask. But won't you please find Elena and bring her home to us? I can't bear to think of what might happen to her out there. Without hesitation, Adol agreed. You'll do it? Thank you, Adol. We're truly in your debt, Adol. I hate that we've been such a burden to you since your arrival here. I, I can't imagine what you must think of us. Godspeed on your journey. I will pray for your health and success. Best of luck to you, Adam.